Well, congregation, let's open our Bible this afternoon to the book of John in chapter 5. John chapter 5, and we'll take up verses 24 to 27 as our reading. Our text will be verse 24, but also to help us in understanding the word of God, we have again this afternoon the Canons of Dort, that third doctrinal standard that very often used and loved by the continental churches. The churches of the British Isles are those who love the Westminster Standards, but if you were to study and compare the Westminster Standards and our Reform Standards, you would be very hard-pressed to find any significant differences and much agreement and harmony therein. And that includes, by the way, some of these deeper things that we find in the Canons of Dort. Now, I'll just say this, that Articles 4 and 5, and we'll get to these in a moment, but they really still serve as an introduction to the Canons of Dort. The very end uh, of Article 5, or Article 5, begins the transition into the significant matters uh, to be taken up in this first head of doctrine, but we need this as a broad introduction uh, to what is coming, and you already heard last week that in the Canons of Dort we find nothing less than the gospel, and we'll continue with that this afternoon. So we'll come to those two articles, four and five, of the first head of doctrine in a moment, but let's give our attention first then to the word of God in John chapter five, and we are at verse 24. I tell you... 